timestamp, so he could have just have taken this a day before. But what does it have to do with with the statue being moved? Okay, my lassie, you see it. Remember, if you will, Your Honor, the when was the statue placed beside the warehouse door? Well, the statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. And it was placed in there to cover up the fate. Exactly. Lugatmi had already decided on when he was going to kill the victim. And so, in order to create an alibi for that time, he took his picture days before the murder took place. What the... Of course, the statue hadn't been brought down to the basement warehouse yet. Oh! So, on the day of the crime, Mr. Acme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat in uh, a rocking chair factory, so to speak. I wasn't aware that this was the expression, but oh well. That sounds very scary indeed. Why? Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down in place where she wasn't supposed to be. And that is why Luke Atme had to move the statue on the night of the murder. And he did it to make ro the room match with the way the fo had been in this photo. Order! Order! Mr. Atme, is this true? One moment, Your Honor, have you forgotten this? What is that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. It is true that the camera that had been set up by the um, set up by the Lord of Taylor staff. However, the program used to manage that data was yours. That alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. Order! Order! Mr. Gordon, what is the meaning of this? Meh. Meh. Can you fix Destiny? Hmm? Can you fix Destiny for us? That is to say me. Here is, here is container for Destiny. Thanks. Gordon! I warned about you, making me wish. Now put that coffee down! My eleventh cup. I promise to drink no more than seventeen during a trial. Which means... I'm still good till the last drop. However, this, the defense has a very good point. <laughs> A good point. So what? We are all but travelers on a road of infinite points. Uh, I think it's got its points mixed up with other points. So you say this photograph was taken ahead of time. And that the statue was moved in order to make it match. That's a very interesting idea. However, there is one point that can't be denied. Which is... Well, that is only a possibility. Men are trapped by chains of maybe. Can never reach their dreams. That is very true. No way, don't, don't fall for that, Your Honor. That is certainly a way to deliver destiny. I give you more to drink. <sighs> hey, Mr. The Mask. Y yes? If there's no funny business in your actions as Master Mask, there should be no problem with you telling us your strategy. So, let's hear it. Yes, please provide this court with your testimony. About your plan to steal the urn. I 
I received the request from Lord Taylor about 20 good days ago. The oil was traced in a box and zvan! It was then sent to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure. So I sent my card ten days beforehand. Then, I handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1am on October 12th. Uh, wait a minute. Anyone else seeing this pro the problem with this? It's pretty much all the stuff we've heard before, isn't it? Yeah, but we'll find the truth hi of uh, hidden in the nuggets of new information they gave. Witness! You are sure there are no mistakes this time? Zvari! Okay, so the uh, the urn... So here's the urn first, this version of the urn. This is the urn, uh, the exhibit poster. And he says he's never like had it before, so... Hmm... There's a discrepancy here. So on the last statement, that is the last statement is false. There, because he knows what the uh, what the thing looks like. Mr. Ratsme, if you really are master mask. Then you also wrote this calling card, correct? But of course. Is there a problem with that calling card? Allow me to read the passage from the calling card that the mask had written. Take good care of the speckled urn. Now, the speckled here surely refers to this pink pattern on the uh, ur sacred urn. Yes, that is true. But so what? Truth be told, there is no way Master Mouse could have known about this pattern. Mm, I love crackling, it's so good. What do you mean? This pink spotted pattern on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains? And these stains did not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lordy Taylor. <laughs> Uh, so we're now on uh, 13 cups of coffee. I'm not finding this joke to be very funny, Mr. Trite. The day the uh, urn, sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to human error, or should I say an error-prone human. Poor, poor, poor... <laughs> Adrian. Just poor. And that's where the pink paints got on the urn. You can't be serious. And yet this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern. Which means Detective Atme had seen the urn long before the crime ever took place. In fact, he saw it when this fake photo was taken. And because this photo is a fake, your alibi from the night of the murder was no longer holds water. Witness, do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, all right, I did it. He's broken. Uh, Nick, I think it's still a little early for a victory pose. Huh? 14. Ha! It's so sad. No one has any conviction these days. Conviction, you say? Yesterday, we all decided unanimously that this man was Mask the Mask. And now we're telling the murderer. You don't think we're being a tad fickle? 
That's a good point. No way. Don't fall for that too, Your Honor. You say that Luke Atme was the one who, who killed Kane Bullard. Then let me ask you this. Why would you do that? An excellent point. Motive, Mr. Wright. Motive. Might you be my merry murderous motive, motive manifest? Nick, he's getting a second wind. If you had preferred an alibi and pinned the crime on Ronda Light, as you say, he must have a very strong motive for murder. The only one with any motive we've seen is Ronda Light. Isn't that right, detective? Indeed. According to my own research, that void motive is clear. Without a motive, it's nearly impossible to prove a guilt in a murder case. Now then, maybe you can enlighten us to what the defendant's motive was here. I'd be honored to, Sir Old Timer. I'm doing everything I can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, this might be our only chance. I, look at me, had no point of contact with the victim whatsoever. Kane Bullard decided to investigate Mr. Mask and simply took, mistook who he was. It was Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Mr. Ro to Ron Delight. And it was again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Mr. Bullard's mistake is quite excusable. The defense the truly believes he is Master Mask. This is why Mr. Light saw it fit to kill Kane Bullard. Surely a tragedy. So the victim Kane Bullard and blackmailed the defendant. From this blackmail letter, this bla is the blackmail letter found in the defense apartment. A handwriting test confirms it was Mr. Bullard indeed who wrote the letter. What? Yeah, there are quite a lot of things going on in this story, Fix. It's quite convoluted. I wonder what the writers were, uh, were smoking to get this uh, very, very extravagant plot. Uh, the thing is, though... Um... Red Diamond? This black man re that refers to a red diamond. And, uh... <clears throat> who has a red diamond? So, the thing is, this... Black Millet were actually never intended for Ron. You mean this Black Millet right here? It says bring $50,000. And the handwriting is without the doubt the victims. There is no mistake. We have the official report to approve it. But I don't see an address C on this letter anywhere. An address C? This letter was discovered in Ron Delight's apartment. Mr. Delight did show up at the designated time and place. The fact that there is no address C is irrelevant. I wonder... What's up, Nick? I just had a thought. What if the blackmail letter wasn't meant for Mr. Delight? Whoa, do you have any evidence for that? For some reason, I just can't shake the feeling that there is something not quite right about this blackmail letter. Well, everyone, are you quite satisfied? So, let's present the blackmail letter. Objection! Might I ask you a few questions, Detective Atme? Ooh, well, it's just a few, then I guess all right. When you said this letter was addressed to Ron the Light, I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. C 
contradiction. I don't want know where a walking contradiction like you gets off saying things like that. But you're the one to talk. At times like these, men are made to express themselves with their fists. How utterly barbaric. Why don't you show us what you got there, Junior? Indeed, time to man up, Mr. Wright. Show us the contradicting evidence in this piece of this blackmail letter. Um, I mean, it'll be this one. Because this one is blue. But they're also, the, you know, um, I would say... Take a good look at this newspaper clipping. It contains a picture of the tear of Amazon stolen the stolen jewel. What about it? The problem is this jewel's color. Color. I'm not much for discussing color myself. According to the clipping, the color of the stolen jewel was blue. Um. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. The problem is uh, uh, actually having time. I mean, uh, because right now I have things lined up. Maybe I can do it when I'm done with this, if I have still have time left over between this and Ori and the, Blind, uh, Ori and the Will of Wisp. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> However, in the blackmail letter, a totally different jewel is mentioned. Click the dot. <laughs> okay. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. Red! Which means, the red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tear of Emanon that Master Mask stole at all. And your point in Mr. Trite is, are you trying to say the blackmail letter was intended for someone else? Is that what you're trying to say? Right? Trite? Uh, that is what you're trying to say, right Mr. Wright? Well, is that what you're trying to say, right Nick? Yes. This is who Cain Bull was actually blackmailing. Chicken soup mine up, Tom Kagai, do it. You'll taste it. It's amazing. You don't have to do all the fancy stuff with kaffir lime leaf and stuff like that. You can just basically buy um you can buy green curry paste, Thai green curry paste, and use that instead. And make Tom Kagai with that. I've done that, it's amazing. <laughs> you got tomato. Naturally, it was you, Detective Atme. Do you have some sort of basis for that claim? You've been personally involved with every single The Master Mask case. And in the last case, you recovered what was stolen and received a jewel as your reward. A, a jewel. Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. Ugh. That is a diamond referred in that letter, which means that Kane Bullard wrote that the right uh, that letter in order to blackmail you. Order, order in the court. Uh, order, I say. That's fourteen, fifteen. Picks. Is that fourteen or fifteen? 
It says you've gone on too far with the childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Uh-oh. I don't like the way he said that. Kane Buller. Blackmailing look at me. Are you for real? Yes, I am. Nick, come on, stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world. Hmm, yes, it certainly does. Kane Bullard threatened to make Leduc Atme's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So, just what is that identity? Atme killed Kane Bullard because he was af afraid of his secret becoming known. What is that identity he wanted to keep secret? This is what it all comes down to, Nick. The identity Luke Atme wanted to so desperately keep a uh, secret was his identity as a blackmailer. Luke Atme was a blackmailer. Objection. Hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said Kane Bullard was the one who was blackmailing Luke Atme. How you say that Atme was the one blackmailing someone else on top of that? Uh, you have to admit, that sounds a little odd. <laughs> oh, conspiracy board. <laughs> it's not odd. It's the only thing that makes sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke Atme. But, Ron Delay was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. I read yarn. <laughs> ah. Wait, what? Oh, that was something. I thought it was something like from Portal Service. <laughs> A very kind person told me give me plans. Detailed plans. In which case, that would mean that Ron the Light was actually Master Mask. That is what we're claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Light steal his targets for him. Take care, Shard, and thank you for joining us today. And that was someone was none other than Luke at me. Shh! Silence! <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. What is it? What is? When you were in grade school, you re received the same report card every year. Careless with a tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? How did you... You say that I, Luke Atme, was blackmailing Ron Delight. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to Mask the Mask. Well, yes. Ron the Light started receiving plans from his oh, second crime onward, correct? <laughs> Whiskey. Which means I learned his identity when he committed his first crime. Good point. You certainly couldn't have it blackmailed him otherwise. Uh, 16 cups of coffee. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke Atme know there was Ron Delight who was the mask? The mask. That'll be the newspaper clipping. I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Gets into a lot of mischief by being the center, trying to be the center of attention. What do you mean? This newspaper clipping has a picture of you and Ron the Light in his guard uniform. It says that Mask the Mask didn't just appear, disappear into thin air. He just took out of his outfit and hid it into a, in a bucket. That that sounds far too stupid to be true. Correct. 
With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Atme. That's when you learned that under the mask, Mask the Mask was actually run the light. <laughs> um, Irish whiskey goes amazingly well with coffee. Hell, it's a drink. Irish coffee. It's amazing. So you take some coffee, you take some whiskey, you take some brown sugar and some whipping cream on top. It is amazing. Irish coffee is... Oh, and cinnamon. Delicious. <laughs> of course I will enable her. Irish is amazing. Why you? How dare you expose me like that? Why? I mean, I, I, I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I am a famous and proud ace detective, and also a mask the mask, and you can't understand that. I'm afraid you're neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That is your true identity. Why, you... How dare you... Uh... See, we finally arrived. The real answer. That was quite the performance by Mr. Atme. Bailiff, please prepare yourself for Mr. Atme. Seventeen. The hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. What do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my ruling. Allow me to say one thing. I will be the one to judge. You can get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. What are you... It should you've proven a lot of things. Things like you at me was a filthy blackmailer, and that he wasn't at Lori Taylor at the night of the murder. That's right, that's why he is the one who killed Mr. Bull, but... There's still one thing you have left to prove. What is that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he wasn't at the... He wa doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove this pitiful excuse of a man was a cave of security, then you have not see a verdict can be delivered. No! No way! Order! Order in the court! Well, Mr. Wright, this is the set. This is the final round. I've got to prove that Mr. That Atomy was at Bullet Office that night, but can you really prove that? That's long enough, Mr. Trite. I want to hear your answer. That night, look at me was at KB Security and the defense... We don't really can't, we can't really prove it. I... I can't prove it. Just as I thought. But if we hear more of Detective Atme's testimony... Unfortunately, that is as far as you go, Mr. Trite. What do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Luke Atme is here after we interrupted his own trial. And you have failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial and face his guilty verdict as Mask the Mask. No! Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end after all. I am the Ace Detective as well as Master Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as London Lights will verify that he is the true murderer. 
I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness.